Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're going to show you how to safely operate a nitrogen regulator. These regulators are very important when it comes to operating with nitrogen in the HVAC-R industry. And there are documented incidents of severe injury when these regulators aren't properly used. Remember guys, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Okay, so what we have is a nitrogen regulator attached to a nitrogen cylinder. The regulator has two gauges. It has a T-style handle for the regulator pin that actually regulates the pressure that exits the regulator. And then we have an outlet which gets attached to the system. The nitrogen cylinder has its own hand shutter valve. Now it's important to mention that the nitrogen cylinder should always be tied down before you commence any work using nitrogen. This is a very important safety feature and a very important safety precaution so that no accidents or injuries happen. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to have to do is to open the nitrogen cylinder up so that we can get the pressure out of the cylinder into the regulator. We do this before we do anything on the regulator. When you look at the nitrogen cylinder, you'll see the two gauges and the gauge on the right hand side is serves a specific purpose that uh, tells you the actual pressure in the cylinder. As you can see, it's calibrated to 4000 PSI and that will tell us exactly how much pressure is in the cylinder. The gauge on the left is there to tell us how much pressure is being pushed through the regulator. And that one will be calibrated to 800 PSI. The regulator pin is used to raise the pressure going through the regulator. As we turn the pin, you will notice that the pressure on the left hand gauge actually raises. We do this very slowly just to be very safe about it. And the slower we go, the more safe it will be. And there you can see the pressure is at about 130 PSI. So we've done that very slowly so that we can see the pressure rise very gradually. We can turn that regulator pin if we wanted to raise the pressure more or if we wanted less pressure, for example, for a nitrogen weld. Let's just give it another quarter turn so we can see and there it's gone up to 150 PSI. So as you can see, it's very easy to adjust the pressure through that TN. Okay, now that we've finished our function with the regulator and we want to remove it, the first thing we have to do is shut the valve on the cylinder before we touch the regulator. Once we are happy that that is tightly closed and shut down, we can then start releasing the pressure that's in the system or in the pipe run. It's very easy to monitor that that pressure is being released. If you just watch the gauge on the left hand side, you'll see that it gradually drops as the pressure is released from the system. We need that to go all the way down to zero, which is going to confirm that there's no longer nitrogen in the system and it is then safe to remove the regulator. And as we reach zero, you will feel that the regulator pin or the T handle is very loose because there's actually no pressure inside the regulator now um, from any nitrogen because we've obviously released all of it. So we can actually shut it all the way and then completely remove the T handle. Now with all the pressure having been removed from the system and from the regulator itself, it's now safe to remove the regulator from the nitrogen cylinder. First thing we will do is we will find our spanner. It's important to use a spanner for to take it off the, off the nitrogen cylinder. Um, a lot of guys will use a shifting spanner but that will round the nut over time and then it just becomes a really messy story trying to work with that nut like that. So the spanner is the better option. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to remove the charging line from the nitrogen regulator. 
and then we will use our spanner just to undo the brass nut on the cylinder to loosen the nitrogen regulator. Now once your nitrogen regulator has been safely removed from your cylinder, it needs to be stored in a van where it's not going to get knocked about and damaged. Also it's important that your nitrogen cylinder gets secured in your van so it doesn't get knocked about either and doesn't cause damage. Anyway guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.